This is a quick video to show you in Silverlight how to add some data to a simple autocomplete box. And here we go. You go into your version of Visual Studio, hopefully you have 2010. But uh, I've already done some things to speed this up. Uh, I've, you should have a project already created and the Silverlight application. Here's your, your, your Silverlight project and you go to your XAML page and on the grid what I did was click autocomplete box, drag it onto my grid and I named it text month. Now there's several there's different ways you can name it. You can go into the properties of it and you can do it there. Or, but the way I did it I just straight I went straight to the XAML and it's right here. The name of this is text month. Now, after you've named it properly and you have it positioned where you want it in your grid, you go to the class that is that sits bus that kind of it's the engine that drives the XAML page, the class main page. Uh, XAML class. You go in there where everything is initializing and loading and you create a string called month list. For this example I'm, the user chooses what month. And this is your array of months. You say I want in text month is that uh, container the item source for my text month object which is that uh, auto complete box put this a list put month list array in as the item source put it in here so let's take a look at it and it should come right up and there's our autocomplete box now when the user goes and types in a J they get three months of course and they can arrow down and choose which month they want uh, their other option is to keep typing and of course it comes up. and that is how you do bind some data simply to an auto complete box in Silverlight.